we have to talk about property taxes in California. And if you watch our other talks, we hammer this. Every day, literally yesterday, I had some clients come in. They just updated their estate plan with, with an estate planning attorney who didn't even flag this as an issue. And that's that, we have to say that's a warning sign. If you're, if you're working with a different firm and they don't even flag property taxes as an issue for you as, as when properties go to your kids, that's a concern because you need to be aware of Prop 19 and what it means and how we can defeat it. Let's just talk about what the new law is and why Prop 19 in California is in some ways the demise of Prop 13, at least as it pertains to parent to child transfers. Prop 19 is now is now law and it became law February 15th, 2021. The deadline is passed, but we still can deal with this. That's a, that's a key point. But what happens now? So it used to be that when a parent passed away, they could pass their primary resident to their children and a good portion of rental or other property to their kids with no increase in property taxes. Prop 58 in California used to protect that. Prop 19 really undid that. And now if you pass your primary residence to your kids, there are limited protections from property tax increases if your child lives in the house. And if they don't live in your house and just inherit it, property taxes can be fully reassessed at fair market value. Rental properties, unless we plan ahead, there are zero protections from property tax increases. If you have a duplex or a fourplex or a vacation rental or a cabin, all of those properties will be fully reassessed at fair market value when they go from parent to child, unless we plan ahead. And what can that mean? That can be a 1,000% increase, a 2,000% increase. I talked to clients yesterday where they're looking at a $3,000 a year property tax spiking to about $45,000 per year if they don't plan. And that's even if their child lives in their house. If you don't plan, if you just put your head in the sand, your, your kids are going to face this. But again, without planning, there is likely going to be a full reassessment of property taxes for your for any real estate you have. So you've had it for a long time. That means the fair market value is way higher than the property tax assessed value because Prop 13 keeps that low as long as you're alive. When you pass away or if you just give away property now, with, if we don't plan massive, massive increases, and again, as I mentioned, your, your home gets some protections. If your child lives in your home after you pass away, the first $1 million in fair market value above the assessed value is protected from a reassessment. So if your house is worth under a million dollars, it may not be an issue if your child lives there. If they wanna keep it as a rental or, some, or a way to support their family, no protections. And if your house is worth more than a million, if it's worth 2 million or 3 million, even if your child lives there, it could be a massive, massive, massive increase in taxes unless we plan. Mike, why don't you talk about the solutions that we've developed? We have to be sensitive to asset transfers and interest in transfers that do not generate reassessments. Uh, if it's less than 50%. If you're not giving up control, we can avoid the reassessment on the first transfer. If it's a larger estate, we may want to transfer that asset out of the estate and have it as a complete gift, which has to be reported to the IRS. Sometimes if it's a smaller estate, we want it in the estate so we can get a stepped up basis. At least one or two limited liability companies, multiple transfers. Sorry, there's no one size fits all because as Mike alluded to, we have to weigh property tax issues with capital gains tax issues with estate tax issues. Um, and we've seen hints. I had a client the other day come in and they showed me what another attorney was talking about. It's not to denigrate other attorneys, but we've seen some bad advice out there about Prop 19 that we know will cause issues. And we want to make sure that you're you're not solving one problem, but creating a much bigger one. So don't try this at home. Little mistakes in the process can result in hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax increases, but we can help you. So let me just give one example of why it's so, so powerful. So this, let's just say there's one property and yeah, it's worth 3.3 million in this example. Now in the Bay Area or parts of Southern California, that could just be a decent single family home, as crazy as that is. But let's say it was worth $3.3 million and the assist value was bought many decades ago. So the assist value for taxes is only $300,000. If you don't plan ahead and that property just goes to your kids with no planning and taxes are reassessed, we are talking about over 10 years, $360,000 in additional property taxes over 30 years if your kids keep it through the rest of their lives. We're talking over $1.3 million in additional property taxes. And property taxes are mostly not tax deductible. You can only deduct the first $10,000 in property taxes for your, your income taxes. So really, to pay that $1.3 million in extra taxes, your kids may have to earn like $2 million extra dollars just to pay for the money that's going to the state that your kids get nothing back for. I mean, you may say, hey, society, it's good if we have higher taxes, and that, that's up to you. But we have the choice 
we can protect against this and save your kids. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. So talk to us if you want to explore this for your situation. We're helping so many families with this. There's a lot of ignorance about Prop 19. So we just want to hammer home that is a multi-generational issue. The last two clients who came in for us, they dragged their parents in the meeting. He said, hey, mom and dad, I want to live in a house in the Bay Area. I want to live in a house in Los Altos that I grew up in. I'm a teacher. I can't afford a property tax increase. Can we work together to keep this low? So we've had many adult children alerting their parents. So if you're in that position, let your parents know about this. It's easy to find us. Dillfix.com. 650-493-8070. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, share it with someone who could benefit from this. Stay tuned for so much more free legal educational content on the Gilfix Law YouTube channel. Subscribe. Let's be in touch.